Welcome everybody to the final round of Swiss at the standard PPTQ here with Top Deck Productions. Um, we've got a gift deck versus an energy deck and uh, what could be a winning in here for these guys. Yep. I'm excited to see this gift deck. Yeah. I, I thought there was only one in the room, but we found another. We found another. We manufactured another. We slid some Godfair's gifts into an approach deck and then just... Oh, God, he's gone. He's gone. Well, he has... Oh, back. Oh, there we go. Oh, we turned his camera to maximum darkness. That was perfect. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Oh, man, and both these guys have chosen the same colored sleeves. Interesting. You see that a lot with black sleeves, but not with the colored sleeves. Not with the mint colored. No, indeed. Dragon Shield matte blacks. Yeah, I think... I think mint might be my least favorite <laughs> Dragon Shield matte color. I was sleeving a deck for our friend, and I was like, what is the most awful color? And so I, I picked pick the mint ones. And so I handed it to him, and he goes, oh, these are the same sleeves I have on my cube. <laughs> <laughs> so I got uh, I got hosed on on trying to awful somebody. <laughs> well, not totally hosed because you originally slaved my deck in that color. No, sure. And uh, here we are. Here we are. Uh, both players going down to five. This is going to be an exciting one. Yeah, this isn't uh, this isn't typical of standard. I feel like this standard is not particularly mulligan heavy. Right, because most decks are pretty low to the ground. Yeah, pretty low to the ground. But and... four color energy has a very peculiar mana base. Yeah, he definitely didn't see any. And blue white gif is not low to the ground. I can tell you from playing gif decks in the past that there are just some hands that are just stone unkeepable. Yeah, they are very mana hungry. And you can be severely punished for. Keeping a bad hand. Yep. Um, but yeah, this four color energy deck, you think you would have seen at least one copy of a tune with Aether? Well, you, sometimes you need multiple. Like, A, you need a green source to cast your tune with Aether. Sure. B, you're trying to play four colors and a tune only gets you one more. Alright, I see a servant of the conduit. That's Down to gotta four be, for the gift wow, deck. Wow, that's not good when you're when you're on the uh when you're on the the winning in the mall to four and on the cusp of greatness on the cusp cusping we're also cheating him 1h he is 1h light on his last name he's got to earn it here well I think he kept he kept eight. four and a scry to the bottom uh, Godfair's gift in hand that's not where you want to be. Kept a no-lander. Has an opt-in hand, though, so that maybe we'll dig him out if he gets an island here. Nope, there's an angel. <coughs> Punished. Look, you can't... You, sometimes you just can't do anything about this. Mall to four with an opt-in no-lands is... Oh, yeah, and your opponent's, uh... Yep. Drawing the best. Seen enough. Well, yeah, he... On the plus side... Maybe your opponent has no idea what you're playing right now. Uh, with any luck. The room gets small pretty quick at these things, so... Maybe, uh... Maybe the... He doesn't know. Um, this blue white gift deck is very straightforward. It's almost all four ofs. Most decks are almost all four ofs. This salt eye deck, there's no way. Yeah. It's got so many diverse cards in it. Four ofs. All four ofs? Yeah, name a card in it. Hostage taker. Four. Is this really a play four hostage four. taker? Four. I know there's two Veraskis contempt in the sideboard. No. No. Four. Four? Two in the main, two in the board? No, four in the main. Here we go. Oh, you're just messing with me now. Uh, so it typically runs Hostage Shakers in the main. Exactly. Uh, and then like a split of one and one Vraska's Condemned in the main board. <laughs> right, okay. So anyway, this, this gift deck is very straightforward. I think it the list I saw only had like 
It had the one fairgrounds warden in the main. And, uh, so sideboarding with it has to be super straightforward. You just take out the bad ones and put in the good ones. Well... Not so much? Not so much. A lot so of shaving much. that goes on? So this is a this is a combo deck we're talking about. Right. You so says you're refurbishing Godfather's Gift. So right. So I'm imagining those cards are untouchable. There are matches where you sideboard out the whole combo. Huh. The whole shebang. Like, against Saltai Energy, whole combo out. All right. And you just play a value deck? Yeah. Interesting. You have to get them on value. And it's not a good matchup, even post-board, but... You gotta do what you gotta do. You're not gonna combo off amidst, you know, negates, um, death gorge scavengers, scarab gods, hostage takers. Like they just have so much action on you. Sure. Duresses. It's bad. So I wonder if that, that's his plan here, because he's playing against this four color energy deck. We've been informed they're apparently acquainted. So I'm wondering if they've even play tested this matchup. We've been informed that Grixis Vehicles deck is on the ropes. They are also on a win and in. Yep. So the two spots are going to be tables four and five. Or, yeah, four and five. The winners of those tables probably most likely going to make it in the top eight. I don't think there's any probably or most likely to it. That's These how it's going to be? Ends. Yep. Okay. So that's, that's just how it's going to be. You're, you're looking at table four now, and the fifth table, which we... Uh, chose not to bring you because we've already seen those players is uh, Ramanap Red versus the Grixis vehicles. I guess Grixis Harvester. It's really only one vehicle in there. I didn't see any other vehicles. Just a Harvester. Just a Harvester. Alright. So Ben is mulliganing again, but I'm told this isn't the end of his end of his night because he's an X one going in. So that means is he could. Yeah, he got the pair down to the X one and one. Hmm. Interesting. So he could lose, and it would be he could jump the person from the table below him. So much interesting math in these things. Yeah. Um, on turn two, why didn't he is my only question. That kid was our spotter monkey, so feel free to ask him why he chose to not win. On oh, on camera. the replay? Yeah. Are we critiquing the spotter monkey's replay? Yeah. Good. Yeah, right. um, that's good. The spotter monkey needs to learn his lessons. Uh, and from what I can tell, he only learns them the hard way. So let him have it. Don't ease up. And so we're two turns in here. Yeah, he's just, he's a little distracted by the criticism. It's all right. So keep it coming. Forest? Swamp? Are these the beautiful Rebecca Gwai forest? That is a beautiful Rebecca Gwai forest, if you think that is beautiful. Here's a turn two long test cup. Let's see if we've got. We're going to chart a course, or is that strategic planning? That's a strategic planning. All right, and he has left in refurbish Godfather's gift, but he put the refurbish in the bin. So. I don't know if that matters. I'm going to spend the energy, get it back. And here's a Hurler Virtuoso. Oh, Hurler Virtuoso. Yeah, all this right. four-color energy operating on all cylinders at the moment. Pitch is the Godfarer's gift. This this is uh, ominous. It's fine. He doesn't have a creature there to bring back yet. So typically the way this gift deck plays out is you want to hit a fumigate before going off. Yeah, so if he 
if he draws a, a into a land fumigate here, uh, we don't know what's in his hand. It could be, could be land fumigate. Land fumigate. Yep. And He's now pick up three life. Now the end is on Ben to try and get back this Godfarer's gift, get some creatures in the yard. I saw he has an angel in hand. You can just cast that out there. Yep. That's totally fine. Yeah, it's big enough, and it still has Vigilance and Lifelink. The first time you cast it, I think I would rather have it... Uh, I would rather have it with the servos. And Lost Retreat really not a lot of Chart the Course. Chart the Course lets you discard a card out of your hand, which is kind of critical. I think the first one he cast was uh, Chart the Course. But yes, I would agree. Uh, the two play very different roles. Here's a Vraska. Here's a Vraska. Surprised to see the Vraska this turn. Um, I guess you got to keep the the pressure on. All right. Here's six. Here is Champion of Wits, drawing two cards, discarding two cards. Discarding Search for Azcanta. And an the angel. angel. Kind of surprised here. Um, he could have cast the angel and did a little bit better job of surviving. Yeah. Um, the Vraska can just kill the angel if once. Yep, Menace. So Ben's going to go to 10. I wonder if he has another Fumigate here. I think he does. Cast out on the Varaska. That's pretty good. Let's see what else we got. Nothing else to follow. Yeah, he's uh, he's going to be cutting this a little bit close. So he's going to get into six here. So Dude, next Robert's turn, I believe he has uh, Refurbish with Negate Backup. Right. And that's going to put a 6-6 six, six Flying Angel into play. Well, if he gets his attack step. So I believe we're going to get an Abraid here from Robert, and I'm hoping that that card is, in fact, a Negate in Ben's hand. Because that makes the, oh, the no match Abraid. much more interesting. All right. Six puts Robert to 14 and Ben right up to 12. It's such a huge yeah. swing. So this is how these gift decks play out, if you aren't familiar. Um, magma Spray, removing the... Oh, that's a Magma Spray. That wasn't a braid. Sorry. Removing the Champion of Wits. Uh, so typically these decks play out. You get... Uh, River's Rebuke. <laughs> you go down pretty Turns low. Turns the negate. And then you just slowly... Get your angel out and get back into the game and then win the game. Yep. So and if he finds a way to discard another angel, he just wins. That's yeah. it. Here's a champion of wits. That can help. Yeah, champion of wits will definitely help here. I'll get to draw three and discard two. And that's an angel. Um, he gets to draw an extra one, but it doesn't really matter here because this is seven and seven in the air. Fourteen exactly. And that's yep. just how this plays out sometimes. Yep. Sometimes you just lose, 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 win. Yeah. I mean, not sometimes. That's usually how it plays out. <laughs> he literally lost all but three turns of that game. Yeah. He won on the Fumigate turn, he won on the Angel number one, and won on Angel number two. And that's all that matters. The only life point that matters is the last one. Did you know that? Not exactly true, but... I'll stand by that statement. <laughs> you're going to stand by it. That's fair. I'm not just throwing around statements willy-nilly. I feel like you are. I feel like that's what you're doing exactly. Well, whatever. Just... That's your opinion, man. Okay. <laughs> All right, so going to game three. Um, if Robert didn't know it was up before, he knows what's up now. <clears throat> Although with the Rivers Rebuke, I kind of assume that he knows what's up. 
Yeah, I mean, Rivers Rebuke is a big deal there. Yeah. Um, if you could Rivers Rebuke well the cast outs in play, mm -hmm. that would be even better. Even better. Um, so Robert is going to have Cubs back in, I'd imagine. Okay. Uh, a little bit more of a threat on the play than the draw, although I don't know if he takes them out here at all. At all, yeah. I think I just want maximum creatures, like... Just be as aggressive as possible. So you need to make room for your rivers rebukes and like any extra braids. Yeah, I think you just want a braids, magma sprays, rivers rebukes are your only spells, right? Like, that you bring I in. I don't even think Braska is that good. Braska is good. I'd much rather have like a creature creature. A creature creature. I'd rather have like a dragon. Go on, tell me more. Than a Braska. So tell dragon, me more about how you're. Dragon wrong. costs one less. Yeah. And gets in and does four damage that turn. So it. I mean, cast out as flash, but it makes me have it then. Yeah, but it doesn't Whereas, do anything to an angel. Oh, you're worried about getting touched by an angel. I'm not worried about it. I get touched by an angel as often as I want to. Uh, Rip Delarice died this week, by the way. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, definitely a depressing one, but she will be missed. Yeah, she had a good life. She had a long life. Concur. Too long. <laughs> <laughs> You're so mean. There's nothing mean about that. Who was the who was the pretty long haired girl that played next to her oh, on that show? <laughs> who even knows? Somebody slap that in the chat box, let me know. As for you guys, chat, go find out who was the star of Touched by an Angel. The co star. You can't say No, Dillary's it was the star. <laughs> Dillary's was not the star of that show. <laughs> And we're talking about a great American actress here. Plains, You're not wrong. Plains is the lead off for the gift deck. I want this gift deck to win. And you were right about the cub coming in. Yeah, here's Cubby. Strategic planning. Um, mm. Thinking long and hard here. Yeah, you gotta make sure you do these right. The Doodler. So you're only... Welcome. Doodler. Oh, he is. Jace's defeat in there. Yeah, Jason defeats a good one. So typically, your sideboard is um, one or two neg or two negates, and then one or two Jason's defeats. Okay. Jason's defeat being more important because Scarab God is something you just absolutely have to deal with. Sure. I've got a report from a. Uh... Oh man, this Grixis vehicle is next. Taking it to game three against Ramonet Red. Okay. He's nine. Oh, he's nine? Yes. So Robert Hayes has built quite the board here. Can you uh, make sure we ask the uh, vehicles guy who's cool if we post him? Yes. Um, and Ben's just, he has taken a beating here. So he's got. Yeah, that's how this works. You're not dead till you're dead. I mean, Robert's got uh, lethal on the board if the, if Ben doesn't do anything here. Well, he definitely needs to do something. Does he have uh, God Pharaoh's Gift in the yard? Uh, no. How about a cast out? He's got cast cub. out for the cub. Man, he's lucky he didn't get a blossoming defense there. That's something you have to watch out for a little bit in the four color, but a lot in this. Color. Yeah, here's a tune. So you're just going to take six to four and then fumigate himself back up, I think. Yeah, you really want Robert to play a creature here as well. Although he doesn't have to. Right. He's I guess not... playing a creature would be playing around cast out or two. Right. So that's important. Or in to fumigate. And then... Oh, yeah, it's in the gate. Should All right, gate, well, that'll do gate, it. And Robert's going to take it down. Yep, a little bit of pressure, a little bit of disruption. That'll do it. That'll do it. That'll do. So we're going to go check in on what your guys' top eight is going to look like. Uh, this Grixis Vehicles deck, which has been the really the toast of the tournament. It has been the toast of the tournament. You got way too much enjoyment out of saying that. <laughs> They're playing their... <laughs> third game uh, and obviously a best of three and they're winning in 
Uh, we're hoping they make it in, uh, but we're going to try to get deck lists here for you guys in the break here between um, Swiss and Top 8, and uh, we'll get those posted as well at the beginning of Top 8. So we'll see you here soon uh, with our Top 8 and some deck lists. Thanks so much.